the meta ethic is binding this moral theories must be inescapable and binding, otherwise agents could always ask why do you have infinity and never do anything. Meta ethical standards are weighted to hurt and they determine what counts as a warrant for the standards of absent guarding is some meta ethical affirmation. Their arguments are relative, no relevant normative considerations, and the agents here, the setting and pursuing events, is inescapable for error and night to engage in the present is to engage in agency. Agency is a look at the way we engage in our server to for participating practical or other reflection is a manifestation that agency goes under reflective rational assessment. There is always a possibility of reflecting on justification while standing outside the constitution of the future of agency and continues to cover when assessing whether it's justified reflection about agency is a manifestation of agency that's always a point. Agent can argue uh, arbitrarily and rationality since it would do that as a condition of agency in the first place. So even if another paper gives you a word true that too, what are within the requirements of reason itself even morality must provide a motivational reason for action. Otherwise agents can't be morally culpable simply knowing that an action is immoral is not sufficient, sufficient to override the action uh, absent of some motivation to do so. And the agency is not optional, which, which means rationality is intr- it's intrinsically binding and motivational. And agency be posits the universalizability to warrant the point and it must be universalizable any other known just always someone's ability to compete on your hands, which also means that reason acts as a side constraint on any and the end space ring or CR C R ninety nine. When I represent my hand, as it be done, I represent as a certain courses of action. Thus, my hand function as a constraint for me, and that they determine what I can do in representing an end. I demand recognition far from others. Others, since the end function is as an objective through self imposed constraint, I cannot be indifferent to the actions, uh, actions of others for these. They are the help or hinder my pursuit of my end. And if I am committed to realizing my end, I must admit that the word that I am working on the other viewpoint, universal willing is a prerequisite to self determination of action. Anything else means desire controls our action. Thus, the answer is no longer an agent course guard 96. Every action involves a decision or a proposal in order to will. You must identify with the incentive of your action that is would be a lot of the fine your agency or your will you would not identify with the incentive as representative of any source of the took it as representative you would be taking it as universal or truly particular or particular as equal must embrace incentive and it's a whole particularity there is only the complete domination of that agent by something inside of me and thus the standard is consistent with willing universal maximum for the standard a priori knowledge is a constraint on any moral judgment would their universal a priori judgment their a concept of a cause contains the concept of a necessity of connection with an effect and a strict universality the role of you remove from your empirical concept yeah, every object that you could you could still not take from by, uh, that by which means of it, you think of it as as a substance that has a fundamental substance that's convinced by the necessity with which this concept presents itself on you. You must concede that it has its near effect in the of cognition of your That means we must adhere to the universal maxims. Would too, we can secretly uh, distinguish every cognition from an empirical one. If a proposition is not only with its necessity, it is, it is an a priori judgment experience never gives the judgment to restrict but only assume the comparative universality. The judgment is not strict universality, then it is a priori empirical universality is ever only an arbitrary increase in validity. Whereas strict universality belongs to a judgment essentially points to a special source of cognition for it, simply of a faculty of a priori cognition and knowing the freedom that information is probably requires the right to know to be able to know the information is private in the first place, and freedom implies an innate uh, right to determine the course of your action in the state and nature power control is absent of a public authority rights violation to our inevitable part in ten. Rival interaction is impossible in the state and nature is established individual can never be secure against violence from one another my rather than right that ultimately yeah, with interaction of public authority can enable interaction always broken to label with each person in innate right to freedom. My other aid regulates on behalf of everyone does the standards consistency with it on the lateral impact calculus of perfect means to be more seen effects are independent of what nature determines because the consequences themselves are dependent on things external to the world so only how we will the means to an action can be solved determine the role of the valid to vote for the greater your best bets or resolution to the policy the affirmative burden is proved the resolution to the negative burden is proved the resolution for uh, prefer one this co-ops are rolled about the valid they're valid they're going to say we need to compare methodology for solving a question of this assume truth testing into intrinsic intrinsically proving one methodology it assumes we've heard it proven the truth in two points they're rolled about the forces an external moment it but only truth testing is intrinsic to the process of debate i.e. proving statement true or false or argumentation only considered rules matter to affect is not pragmatic or hard purpose, uh, purpose because how it only makes sense based on that's considered rules i.e. you can't make up a rule in chess just because of more Intellectually challenging, you must adhere to the authority of the rules of the game. Thus, I affirm myself in democracy the public's right to not to be valued above the right to privacy. How can it for public authority of the office? I have the right to clarify the FCC and CSU about to lead to the area to basically under 16. Cont- contribution to public safety and public right can be a lot of games of public official consequences where such official will be necessary in democratic society in, the, in a way that which represents the mere cast must be held accountable. And even if some lying information and evaluation will be intended getting someone to make a choice again, uh, there will fail to treat individuals as a mere means to an end towards our deception. To respect someone's autonomy is a treat as one who believes in action or control by our reason of someone who is mere to be human. Not trying to hide the bully or trigger in the thing you're acting as you think best. If she was wrongly if I can't have a bully elected, this does not make it more sensible to bully or trigger in the body the way you think best. She has a right to vote. This means she has a right to decide for whom she will vote. Cut the head of two card under you. One permissibility of firms negating the resolution would, would be a prohibition because proving the resolution false means that the public's right to not, not be valuable with the right to privacy of candidates for public office. Two, presumption of firms because at times you the negative against seven minutes to respond to the one AC and six to respond to the one or two implication eight point. This is structural so you can see that means it always because it controls actions of valid people and if the debate is added means we have done the better debating because we have less seminary arguments. Three point problem with the induction takes out the NC from every vigorous 14. Uh, methods of predicting that we have no experience cannot be proved to each other. These can do to argue that it is always been in the past what begging the question by assuming but uh, just what is to be proved for. What if argument 
negative rocking doesn't bring the resolution false on its own terms, but rather it challenges on an assumption that the resolution simply says it's like the conditional which make the assumption that just has a conditional ahi, what they can actually search to say if then he was for all conditions and all ahi, all if he then cues because of the antecedent of the condition or the if part is false and that the condition as a whole is true, the three friends in combination then, but I mean that by repeating an assumption the resolution the negative has actual proven the truth, five one abstraction and that's the second and then an inevitable and ethics the alternative is unchecked egoism bar two to avoid egoism on one was subtract on personal knowledge of the merit of the category of the love of for all lots of your reasons that the country of racist ideology that is based on the use of person as a mere as a means of an enemy constructive or reveal that this unit of being considering and of his own feelings of a condescend on problems that we it would be equally deplorable to reject the categorical and there and both out versus exploring as a immensive or a potential cut to six one uh seven uh, argumentation presupposes some basic unit principle otherwise it cannot occur how many years no one can propose that anything if one's right to make it use of one's physical body was not hard to presuppose anyone who would try to justify any norm must presuppose an exclusive right to control the only order to say I propose such a minute one disputing right would become a contradiction go back to the second one six one after after you chop the bitter no area and beating in terms of four minute one years is not a two minute time to win both theory and substance so you must be punished and also get into turn to be seven from spreading out the one air paradigm which is for the two and a half from over but only the two and a half will not have value after your private index theory eight months oh yeah um what did you not read i didn't read the like the second part of the sixth bike the evaluate after your first i didn't read the okay, wait, so you read so you read the first part of six did you not read anything else i read the first part of six so it ends at line by line I read Hop. I did not read Zanati, okay. and I did not read the second course guard card in the offense. The second course guard card in the offense. Okay. Yeah, you good? Do you need a new doc or anything? Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Right. Are you are you good? Yeah. Um, why does truth testing co-opt other role of the ballots? Uh, yes. So the first justification about co-option is that your role of the ballot assumes that it is true when you like speak it out loud and say it's something which you care about. However, a prerequisite to that is proving it true. I.e., saying like okay. I smell out of this presumes that that statement is true, but okay. we have to prove it true. Um, that seems to make sense. Um, what about the constitutivism argument, or why is it constitutive of debate to use truth testing? This argument is that the only constitutive part of debate is truth testing, i.e., proving statements true or false through argumentation. We only care about constitutive rules because, like, we give the Wait, example of. Where do you prove that this is a constitutive rule? What do you mean? Like, I'm. Like, well, I don't understand. You but. say that it's constitutive of debate to use truth testing. My argument is like, my question is like, what? Where do you, uh, where you make the argument that? It's yeah, that's like, the <laughs> argument that the only like constitutive part of debate is proving arguments true and false through argumentation. Where do I you, mean, every where, single round, we try to prove arguments true and false through argumentation, which okay. makes it constitutive of the debate space. Okay, um, that seems to be fine. Um, the... Uh, why does Khan affirm, or I guess, like, what does this Klinger card make? The Klinger card talks about Khan's publicity principle, principle, talking about how, like, public officials have a special duty because they are part of the unilateral will. They have a special duty to, um, to, like... Okay, I actually have a question about one of these you arguments. This fourth point, what does this argument mean? Like, yeah, so this means that if you do something that proves an assumption that the app false, i.e. if you read like, I don't know, if you read like an a priori or something like that, that would actually prove, prove the resolution true because it's an indicting, it is indicting an assumption. Oh, so this, is, this in, just says that like we cannot read arguments that question like some underlying of assumption of the app. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can read them, they're just also a reason to They're just bad? Or, okay, oh, uh, that's fine. They're great arguments for us. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Um, the far evidence, uh, yeah. what is the purpose of this argument? Or I guess, like, what is, it, what, or what is the purpose of abstraction being necessary? It's a prereq to critiques. Okay. Okay, so this just says, okay. It's a, pre it's a preempt to critiques. Okay, um, yeah. the hop argument, um, is this argument just, like, uh, like, your, our favorite comes as a prerequisite because everything requires arguments and all of them require freedom? Yeah, we're saying that, like, you have the ability to argue over frameworks, right? like, if you're arguing over the framework, that presumes that you have freedom. Our framework is the only one that actually preserves freedom. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, that's fine. The... What's induction? Induction? Induction is the idea that, like, you look at something that happened in the past, I, I can say, like, the sun rose this morning, and then saying the sun will rise tomorrow morning. So we say that that fails because there's no justification for why the same thing will happen tomorrow morning. Okay. Um, that's fine. I'll take that. You defend whole res, right? Yeah, do you want me to spec anything? No, nah, it's fine. So. You defend I implementation? Uh, do you want me to? Yes, please. Sure.
prove like permissibility is true, or do you just say that permissibility affirms? What do you mean by permissibility is true? Or just like, what, like what does this permissibility affirms argument mean? Um, yeah, it's just saying like if one of if like you or I trigger permissibility. I'm how would we trigger permissibility? Um, like I don't like how would you do it? You could read reasons as to why Kant triggers permissibility. You could what read, does that mean? Or like, what does it mean for me to say that Kant triggers permissibility? That means that there's some aspect of the framework that like cannot guide action and means that any action would be permissible, as the name states. Okay, um, that's fine. Um, 120, I'll send the doc, orders three off case. Okay, uh, one minute. What's the order on case? Um, the order is uh, like the framework and then the underview. Um, I sent it. Got it, let me just open it. Um, what did you get? Okay. Interpretation debates must not uh, must post links to all previous constructed speech stocks. We have determined at least three minutes prior to the round. To clarify this means that you must include full text underlying and highlighting of all cards as red and brown violation. We just said it took your screenshot of your working, you not you not open source it. That was why we used 20 seconds to extra prep standards versus debate resource in that reason. You'll see people with some cards, but that's good. It's the only way to truly level the playing field for students, such as novices and, and underprivileged programs at Synergy 5. Open source systems are preferable. It's better to share the wealth and limit production or participation. Open systems may be the only structural rule based answer to resource and that Every other pro proposal fails to the level of enforcement. An open, uh, an open source system would reduce entry barriers. This is especially shown in the novice or JV and JV level. An open source system would fundamentally change the uh, business economy without targeting anyone or putting anyone out of a job. Second, it leads to higher quality engagement because I know exactly what the app says, which in turn leads to the app because it leads to net better destruction. And also, especially you can know your, know your spites or just goes on you know, this goes full text. Third is uh, this app based open source is the only way to verify before. Around the cards aren't miscut full size, doesn't solve it. It's a decrypt highlighted unethically. That's voter maintaining ethical app practices. Is she being, a, a, being good academics and we should be able to verify you didn't cheat voter attention? Or no, oh, is the only point of in the baby chair about what we learned rather than if we were fair, drop the barrier first? Doesn't make sense because you were abusive out of round seconds. That's a pres uh, president. The bears should run unfair argument because they will be scared to lose. To me, in terms of uh, first being able to cause a reason to the is basically being barely reasonable. Magnify abuse. Second, critical thinking to me, in terms of promotes in depth argumentation on theory, which increases the quality of trash. No RVIs. First, RVIs is charged and checking me because Base will be, will be a phase of lose on theory. The second is real world applicability. Wing theory is not a reason to bust them up in the real world, proving your meaning and necessary rule will not give you reward. Next off, 
I got in reality the standard to minimize the material violence. Personal identity reduction is demonstrated with the hemispheres of my brain, which has pointed into two different people. Another will be me, part of part, part 84. I just survived with only half my brain, but my, my body is faintly aged as, as other brain's mind to my brain. It's if I each have to point to the body one of my, one of my brothers. Personal identity is not my mind, but my mind was primarily devised and it's had developed in different ways. It would become less possible to change the case of almost only one person. The young level opposite as, uh, edge of the earth, the man felt to rise. Each other the edge of the world, what I believe to be a stranger is another part of, uh, part of myself. Reductionism just by you chose results in 86. The reduction of views like strong is the point that the utilitarian cow utilitarianism treats persons like existence. Each of the terms will provide nature, a person to person, a person to person, the person separate from the body, being a mental, physical, and a deep air might be two persons. When we see the belief that, that persons are separate and entities, and, 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 we feel more plausible than plausible than two persons. Prefer additionally states must be useful good than 90. There is nothing special about public officials. Public officials only choose to under the private individuals have information on their own services. So public officials are poorly informed to the effects of choice will have an individual. They tip into averages and aggregates. That is enough to use utilitarian calculus. Next up. The play to a surveillance state, weak percentage, or more point of facing privacy violation, while the more powerful maintain their capabilities to protect, to protect themselves. Chapter 7. Trump with technology coordinate control access to goods and services to the power individuals aside compared with that of government corporate entities. It will use the hierarchy, garners more or less privacy, the higher position, the good ability to, to protect privacy, the inability to keep information private, represent the lack of power, powerful organizations have greater, uh, greater capacity to keep secrets everywhere that, uh, that the power interests of the domination structure toward the outside are state. And surveillance is uniquely anti by charging people of color to undermine resistance movements. Garcia Rojas 16. Mobilization provides attention around surveillance of black communities and transportation calls up to person to the civil rights area. Surveillance programs were established to infiltrate surveillance area movements. Organized surveillance practices are predicated on the drill logic of anti blackness. Mental laws of black men and mixed race indigenous people carry lanterns. If not the company of a white person, any white person will deputize to stop the, those who watch out without, without the lit candle. That is not part of racialization. Drug surveillance is to destroy the tactics to render one self out of sight and in the fight to freedom from slavery. Information technology to destroy information about the body have been used in the racial family, bringing and communication of blackness. Case. Our binding is first neutral hydrates, even if rational thought is the foundation of ethics, humans are tainted with cognitive biases. It's inseparable from, from evolutionary desires like avoiding pain, meaning, and collapse to utopia. Second, there's some aspects of, to the imperial world that don't change. We use phenomenology to know this is true and that just by utopia in the Bible. Phenomenal and transparent reliable experiences, bridge of vision, because possible at least under adverse conditions, is reliable to be indispensable in knowing life when looking at love and watching former beliefs about their interesting future, their bright when considering if they experience pleasure, watching being in the judgment about their interesting future, their good, their, their good, the parallel to yellow brightness and pleasure, goodness, a demonstrated objectivity of the value, and phenomenal and transparent, I can know that all the pleasure is good, that's what you told. Third, all the on the categorical comparative, there's no impact of contradictions of conception if the imperial world is an altered. Fourth, teach out AC often, they're often paid to on the flawed application of a system, it's reliant on an imperial analysis, often rare. First, you said that we the largest enterprise in the doubt, all others fall into it. But th that's one for a few reasons. A point, reason is simply a mechanism for employing other ways to understand your decisions. I, I can reason using deduction or, or induction or anything. B point, use my reason as if it's just thinking, but if that's the case, then you have to grossly misunderstood how normativity works. Simply reflect it on me. We're talking reasoners. We can be reflecting based on experience, based on logic, etc. Off, see your first no reason as a mere recognition. I should presume champion the TOC asking the entire debate community recognizing my end. Second, based on like just because I have to, I must account for others' actions and pursue my end. There's no reason ends must be good as universal. Third, to allow to YouTube. Basic reason individual ethical orientation on the distinct ends of individuals, which proves ends can change reason. Off choice guard. First, universally reasoning a will does not prevent to self determination. Making a decision based on specific situations in different ways does not mean you succumb to desire. It means you, you, you take into consideration that there are other factors to, to consider, i.e., social influences. Second, I can use different forms of decision making without necessarily being just a problem of desire. For example, I can consider the uh, specific circumstances of a homeless individual and decide it's okay for them to steal because of their particular circumstances. Off, or, uh, off operating reason, can we operate reason with a practical reason? A reason for me to do something can also be a reason for you not to. A person with, without diabetes will eat a cookie because of surgery, but a person with diabetes will not because of surgery. The same reason be different things because it's highly dependent on your context. Because we can uh, see the authority of reason, but I can see the universal nature of time. But reasons that depend on context, then it rely on the external factor you bind to your own empiricism index. Also, just by using which is your only ethics, I can for both external store of value as well as internal. Once you consequentialism, which ties our will to the consequences and changes in constant it creates and the value of me. Off Varden, first, it doesn't necessitate on the latter world. We can mutually agree to take certain actions, force each other. Each other to follow each other with trade agreements and incentives. Second, the state, the state cannot be conscient. Trust by good, the states only deal with aggregates and, and only take in imperial information. You told it the only option to, to deal with such information. Now, off truth testing, use compared to worlds. First, truth testing violates the other rules prefer this since it directly closes the event. Destruction and doesn't provide an inference. No, and eight. Trust the president's resolution as a little truth statement. The and, and, and NFL do LD instruction to repeat you such model by placing parallel budgets amongst homeworks of the activity. And the trust value can be determined through or false resolution desirable. That the should be held to standard of absolute proof. The very, very proof side of the resolution is more valid than general principle. Skip the second. Still the second argument, not the interview. 
You say time to you first, no, no, time to you. We both get 13 minutes of speech time, so there's no time to you. So I can get the first and last speech, so there's an eco element to the two yard that we don't get, uh, that, that we don't get now. You say induction fails. So first, AC, AC, deduction, not induction. All that's what happened, because why words are true. Second, induction just says we didn't have the possibility of fail. Doesn't mean we should get put on YouTube. If I went solvency, the AC, the, the average problem, the, the, the average problem, the third problem, you don't understand that they actually could fail, but still partake some of them. Off hop, first, this is, uh, off hop, for the first, this is false, regardless of the physical saving. You still have control of your thoughts. Second, you can give an action to be unethical without uh, being a participant of it. That means uh, this is a situation of freedom. Third, collapse to you. So, freedom only matters insofar as it really induces the pleasure. Fourth, also applies the life. We can't make ethical decisions if everyone is dead. Just didn't read the second point under truth testing, but I read everything else. Read the first point? Uh, I didn't read, like, truth testing allows for names and not pure reads. I only you read, read the card. I read Nelson, but not the second okay. point. Okay. Um, cool. Your open source shell, the interp says, must post links to all previous constructive speech docs. What is a link? Uh, so on the open source or on the wiki, there's a space where you can uh, sort of like give a file or the link um, to your document and it says like upload here and it will make the link okay, for you. Okay, but what so is a link? Do you want me to like define a link? Alright, can you show me anywhere in the shell where you define a link? We don't define what a link is. That's fine. I don't think we have to define every word um, in the theory shell. I think it's like, if, we go in, if you go in the open source, the wiki, it's like very obvious. Did you answer the what they they want. Yeah. Yes. What was the answer? Um, conflict of uh, a priori reason with classical reason. A reason no, 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 no be a priori, like the, like the independent reason to affirm. What do you mean? Okay, cool. Uh, what's the impact to the third off? Uh, it's racist, or I guess surveillance is racist when you allow, um, I just, like, we don't, we need to win the link later, but I think the impact is fairly, um, like, it's, it's mandatory when you allow surveillance to happen that allows, like, rich white people to, uh, surveil minorities, and I guess there's okay, also so a bunch if, of other Okay, so if we look at, like, the 2018 midterms, those people holding, like, Ron DeSantis accountable, isn't that an example of how, like, this surveillance and, like, releasing information is available to hold white candidates uh, accountable as no, well? That's not, like, the surveillance the DISA talks about. The DISA talks to, like, uh, talks about, like, policing methods used by, like, rich white males to, like, uh, I guess, like, investigate, sort of, or, like, look into, like, private lives of, like, minorities, or, like, prohibit them from doing certain actions that, like, um, sh like that are open to everyone. For example, the landfill laws, um, like this years ago, um, required that like minority bodies, um, have to carry lanterns while they walk outside into a street, um, which is a form of surveillance because it, uh, because it allows the U.S. government to literally see everything that these like minorities are doing. Um, okay. So um, that is. I heard the response to. Uh, I heard the response to, the reasons why presumption affirms. Was there a response to why permissibility? Uh, I don't think so, no. Okay, cool. Um, what does it mean to be a subject? Um, what card are you referring to? No, I'm just asking what the one ends conception of like. I think the personal identity reductionism argument, I guess, kind of answers your question. There is no, like, psycho like psychological... Okay, so there is no definition what, of what it means to be a subject. There's not, like, a no definition. There just isn't a psychologically continuous identity. Okay, like that's, yeah, that's all I want. Um... Can you explain to me the arguments against induction fails? Uh, first one is that we use deduction, not induction, to like all that's what happened because why warrants are true. So fails to happen on minorities because the linked warrants for the link are true. Um, second, the induction fails argument just says predictions might fail. Doesn't mean that detail is bad. The last argument just said that policymakers understand this, but they still take policies.
222 and 100 at that time. The order will be the shell, the act, the disac. And I may or may not be reading a new off at the end. It's just a few cards. I'll sign it. Okay. Let's see if I have time. Okay, it's sent. Tell me when you got it. No, you two stay again. Yep. Let's see. Tell me what you're good. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Laura, is he good? Extemporary, we will concede that it doesn't matter if we are agents, that there is no conception of agency, but you have conceded that the only binding aspect of a framework is binding is, 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 is subjectivity, which means that under your framework we have no reason to take any action, i.e., if I am not a subject, I have no reason, I have no moral obligation to take any specific action. This triggers permissibility because we would never be bound to take any action. You can extend permissibility from this was conceded out of the 1AC, so don't allow them any new responsibility because, uh, because that would literally, uh, because that would be unfair. Extend permissibility, for, uh, permissibility for, because the gating would be a prohibition because you would be saying that the right to know ought uh, not outweigh the right to privacy, meaning the permissibility flows affirmative. You can also extend the operatory from the framework that knowing imposed private requires a right to know that it is private. So this means that you vote affirmative right now because the idea that because that, because to be able to know that something is private, you must first have the right to know, which means you vote affirmative to uphold the tautological truth of the resolution. You can extend. Um, oh, I guess we're going to ask shell. Whatever. Uh, on truth testing. You can extend the role of the ballot to vote for the debater who best offends the resolution truth or falsity of harm burden is to prove the resolution truth and negative is to prove its falsity for uh, you can extend the uh, you can extend the second justification that truth testing is the only considered part of the debate, i.e. proving statements to uh, true and false or argumentation is the only considered part of the debate they have conceded the considered rules are the only things that matter to the activity, i.e. you can't make up a new rule in just because it's more intellectually challenging, you must adhere to the authoritative rules of the game. Uh, uh, this means that uh, this nil this comes lawfully prior and you're gonna be using truth testing over competing world and we'll go ahead and uh, on their Nelson evidence for competing world. A point, this isn't an NFL tournament, this is a TOC tournament, so this card doesn't apply because these are not the rules. B point, this is really old. It's from, it's from 2008. Debate has obviously changed in the last 10 years, and C point considered about ways A point and strength only because it, they conceded it, so a risk of defense on this card means prefer hours and B point only. Uh, 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 he's considered that only considered rules matter me, meaning that you can prefer our offense. Um, the role of the ballot comes to fourth year. One point, you can't evaluate arguments unless you first know what your role of the judge is. If your role of the judge is to be a critical educator for combating oppression, then the only way you can evaluate theory is through how to use methodologies to combat oppression theory. Rest on the assumption, uh, two point theory, rest on the assumption that there are fundamental debates, one worth preserving, which is the K impact on school forms and knowledge are replicating the impacts of the K. There's only a risk that we create. New, more ethical form of debate. Three point case is a dissent. The theory excludes this version methodology like this. I mean, that they have to win that their claims of fairness outweigh bound the show. They can be solved by the world of about four, ten, uh, four point activism is the most important standard in this one. Without activism, all their education and fairness points are meaningless. No matter what we learn, unless we have the ability to take out other and use it. It is by definition the use of this and a five point of uh, five point uh, fairness and education are not constitutive to debate. There's no or no reason why the judge has to be fair or why the judge cares about education. Many, I mean, they, I mean that since you consider our role the ballot frames the shell and the role is not the shell is not constitutive to, to debate. So you confer you can prefer permissibility or the opportunity to vote affirmative. We're not going to do the chronologic thing now on the shell. Counter interpretation uh, debaters may disclose full text on the wiki. This holds all of their offers because they literally have access to my all of my cases and the net benefit is a critical thing and you still have access to all of my cards, but uh, but you but you actually have to cut them and look for the evidence, which is a net benefit to educa a point to education because uh, because uh, because it means you actually have to look for the evidence and learn it and B point is a net benefit to Implication, implication of fairness because uh, because it means that uh, big schools are always going to have more pride, but by forcing them to think on their feet, you got we have a critical thing at levels of playing field now on their interpretation. Be, uh, I mean their I mean their interpretation. What is a link? It could mean full text, and that's exactly what I did. I prefer the text over spirit of the inter spirit is not verifiable. There is no way to verify what he meant, and he could just shift what the shell means and then say in his next in next feature, which means he will always win on resources. Very, uh, I, I still give access to cards, and that benefit is that you have to cut the meaning that we uh, this uh, resources very this is very. Not, not unique on better engagement. The A point you know with full text is so it's not unique. B point maybe I didn't read the spice before, so the spice argument is trash. You have no way to verify that I even read the spice before, and that it should be disclosed and on their evidence. I think ethics arguments. A point instead of looking for like misguided evidence, you should just spend time prepping and learning. And B point just drop the argument. We can drop the argument on the offense or whatever you, you want to do on that and on the dissent. 
The dissent is not unique of the affirmative release of surveillance of white candidates as well. Look at the most recent election, like people <coughs> holding Ron DeSantis accountable, meaning the dissent is not unique, and there is no way to vote negative on you too. Yeah. One minute. The show and then um, the role of the battle before in theory stuff on case. Um, is everyone good? Okay. Our interpretation that the bears must post links to all post all, all peers to, uh, to justice peace talks and the tournament at least 30 minutes before, uh, before the round. The bears must open source their app with full highlighting and full underlining. Obviously, Ben did not do this. I I certainly I certainly speak I certainly I, I, I screenshot of his win before it and nothing is open source. It's all just full test and full test uh, full test show. There's three reasons why open source is good. First, the anti douchey evidence for debate resource uh, resource that means not as the bears and JV and JV, and JV level the bears don't know how they charge cards, don't know what to light the light. So if they see how they see how good the bears charge. Uh, and they're able to end that level of the playing field and see how and see how and see how they how see how they may make out there's also an impact to your only arm on theory because your army is that level of the playing field for bigger schools our army is that level of the playing field for these sort of smaller school because they don't know no, no, the stealing cards is good for them because it teaches them what time or what time of evidence people are read and what time and what time and what that good evidence is which is better for education because they know because they know what the better because they now know what the better education is and how to make the kind of better education the second reason is higher quality and higher quality engagement I I can bear engaging the app, I know exactly what the app says. If I look at the highlight, I know what the code is. And the app means instead of looking at the entirety of like, the injunction and conclusion, which your full text access argument and the access argument is that way your trivial thinking. Your argument, because it's an internal link, we only get trivial thinking if I'm able to engage in the first place. But if I prove that I can't engage and I'm not able to develop those sort of trivial thinking skills, the last argument is evidence evidence. Open source is the only way to verify, verify before the round that the arguments are not miscalled. This also takes out the full text argument because you just full text the argument. You, you only know what the senses are. I think. I mean, you only know the senses are, but you know, but you don't know if he highlighted them. And trust me, for example, the sense was I do not like dodge, but he only highlighted. They say I do like do dodge. And obviously, four times not saw that, but open source web because it exposes how he did not. He did not highlight those in the session. Now, evidence outweighs evidence. Evidence outweighs his army. It is literally a constitutional rule of the of, of rule of debate, which also outweighs his constitutional army because this is actually a rule of debate. You should not miscut evidence because because otherwise, travel before you die and give you. Uh, how much? I stopped my timer. How much time did I have? I have no clue, honestly. I'll do four. Oh, wait, it's actually considered it's actually considered a rule of the of, of debate because we uh, things like engagement or critical thinking are a project of debate, but that, that only that only made, that only matters if you actually maintain the rules of the of debate in, uh, debate in the first place. Now the one year, now the one year proper you say me now you your I the argument is just nonsense. Firstly, uh, first you see the it's a, 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 a line the intro that says it links to all previous constructive speech stuff. So you mean that it's not me a link to a full text, it means a link to a previous uh, a previous constructive speech stuff, which is definitely which is definitely what open source means. Second, we don't have to define every word in the in the, in the intro. 
all the way that's infinitely regressive and we would never have actual we would never have actual debate. Though this is very though you should view this with a lot well, you should view this like like reasonably. Lord, do you know what open source is and it definitely not open source and on the wiki there's a very clear line where no, there, there's a very clear line where he can open source it and, they, and they ask where's the faucet or where's the link and he would upload that. I mean that he definitely doesn't I mean that he definitely did not make the intro. You should not vote and I mean like this because it screws over the rest of the uh, rest of the debate. Now the critical thing, you know, I mean, I've already answered this, but over beyond this one, this uh, over this he only he only uh, links this back to fairness, but he you knows the reason why fairness matters. You can see that Edge uh, is the only vote should be careful about what we learn rather than if we were if we were fair. These are the new trials applications of his standard education, which is I don't have a three a three nor two three three nor just one that independently he says he he says turn the charge. Our argument is not that the bear should be taught. Uh, 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 and the should retell your card, not that they want to retell your card, it's just that they see how you tell the they see how they tell the how you tell the card, and that process of card cutting, which is a which is a which is a good idea. Second, people will still retell your cards even if they see your high even if they see your highlight and they'll realize that they don't understand what the card fully means if they just steal the card and just read it. So if they want so if they want to maximize that kind that kind of usage, then they will then they will retell themselves that and that allows for better discipline because they'll know when to retell or not or not or not, or not tell your evidence. Now yeah, the rest of your responses you say you need to be spy five, I see that, that you might not read spies, but you definitely did not highlight your evidence and offer our argument still apply. Your evidence that this argument, you say that we should that evidence at the doesn't matter, we should focus on crap. No, our argument is you should not apply this argument that then that sort of like a primary claim outweighs evidence at this. Our argument that you mistell your evidence that outweighs because that is a consistent rule of the game and that's just not allowed by the only rules which outweighs this primary argument and, and you know, the, the primary argument independently. We cannot maximize engagement if you don't know how you highlight your evidence or if you highlight on uh, highlight on entry. It's just it's just incorrect for us to argue and just a card that. That, that can prove a different way and then say they does because if it allows for better engagement, if you actually read good evidence that support your matter, we mean that that allows for better, a better engagement. Our prep time is better used, it's better used if you support your own evidence. Like, yeah, the, the, the open source arguments are, uh, there's, I think there's three framing issues. The first one is the I meet. It's clearly a really random bad I meet. We won that it's about a previous constructed speech talk and reasonably Ben just did not open source, whereas we did open source. Um, the critical thing arguments are impact back to fairness, but he's not why just by fairness as a voter and not impact back to education. If he does impact back to education, that's new. If we have an application to that independently, he's can see that Antonucci, Antonucci is an impact turn to the critical thing argument, and the other two standards also take this, uh, also outweigh. He has not done any weighing in, between the standards and the wire, so you'll get that. And the two are the other argument is just that evidence ethics don't matter. It does. That was all his constitutionalism ar arguments. That evidence ethics is a constitutional rule of debate. Now the impact turns or the role of the Bible before, before theory. Theory comes as a, as a prior question, as a question of evaluation. If you don't know your argument, in the first one until we engage them, or we know that you made them both, we know that I don't you're well in love with theory comes first independently. Your argument, you say that we, we don't know your role as judges. You as a role has a, you, you, you as a judge have, have to vote for the better model of debate, not just a world about, the world about, the world about stuff, so not theory, but obviously on theory, you vote, you vote for the better model of debate. The second, the, the second, the second, the, the second argument, there, there is no critique, means that this argument is nonsense. The, the, the case is this argument, there's, there's no reason, like, theory is true to disrupt method, methodology. You just have to open source argument this is not about the the last argument that activism is important uh the, the last argument is that activism is important. You have not argue, uh, argue about why activism is good. The last argument, oh yeah, this is the, 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 the constitutivism argument. Evidence ethics is constitutive, and we say that education is a core of impact in debate, which is constitutive of debate. Two twenty-two.
the AC show. Overview real quick at the beginning and then AC show. Everybody good? <clears throat> yeah. The two in our messed up, they do not extend. Voters are dropped the debate or no RBIs in the shell. They need that you cannot vote on the shell. So insofar as there is no reason to vote off of the shell, is insofar as there, no, there is no impact to the shell, you're going to be voting on substance of which we are winning. You can extend the rule of law to vote for the debate or your best defense the resolution, truth and falsity. The affirmative reference to prove the resolution, true and the negative is to prove its falsity. You can extend the constitutive justification. The only constitutive part of the debate is proving arguments true and false or argumentation, i.e., we're even doing that on the, on the theory debate, trying to prove my arguments uh, true and trying to prove, prove my arguments false and his arguments true. This means that the, this means that the, this is the only rule that matters in debate. We are consider rules are the only rules that matter because uh, if you're playing chess, you can't make up a new rule because it's more intellectually challenging or more fair or educational. You must first adhere to the authority of the rules of the game. They have conceded all of the justification, justification for the truth testing rule of the bell. So if we want a reason that it comes before, before theory, you're going to be voting on the a priori. You can extend the a priori across the flow. That knowing information is private requires a right to know that it is private in the first place. That means that the right, the right to know comes lexically prior to the right to privacy and you vote have taught it to prove the resolution tautologically true. Now, on the, on the role of the first justification, they, uh, they say uh, they say theory, theory is a question of evaluation. Uh, no, uh, Engagement, I think, uh, and whether or not they can engage in the F offense. However, this comes from fairness, and they consider out of the they consider out of the one AC that the only thing the judge actually that the judge doesn't care about whether or not debaters are being fair or educational. I.e., lawyers could just flip a coin at the beginning of the round and sit there and play Tetris if he wanted to. And there's nothing in the in the NSC handbook that says that that is not uh, not something that he can do. That, so, insofar as the judge doesn't have any constitutive uh, reason to care about fairness and education, the only thing the judge cares about is proving the resolution true and false. Meaning the theory is not that even if theory is a question of engagement, it doesn't matter. Matter because no, because that is not the judge's role. You can uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for the we're gonna go for the fifth justification about can, uh, about how uh, about how uh, the uh, truth testing is only constitutive part of the debate. You know, we've already done that analysis. Uh, fairness and education are not constitutive rules. I've already done that analysis as well. The only evidence uh, they, uh, the only offense they have here is the evidence ethics offense. But we're gonna go ahead and answer that. And even if they are winning the evidence ethics offense, it doesn't matter because they are not winning any implication to that offense. And any reason why you, uh, why why you should vote negative off of that offense? They conceded the winning out of the one AC. Why constitutive rules are the the only things that matter is that judges do not care about fairness in education, which is you know, what you prefer, proving true and false. <coughs> Proving arguments true and false is the only constitutive rule we care about, and we are the only ones proving the resolution uh, constitutively, uh, proving, uh, proving the resolution true through the a priori. Moving on to the show. Cross the line, they didn't extend voters, so you cannot vote on the shell. They messed up pretty bad and should lose because of it. And they, uh, they say uh, evidence ethics always have a point that it impacts the fairness in telling the truth. However, there's no reason why the judge cares about fairness. Cross the line, that argument, B point. Um, yeah, the only reason the rules are created is, is for fairness within the, within the debate space, but insofar as the only thing constitutive to the debate space is proving the resolution true or false, vote affirmative. Fairness comes after we prove the resolution true or false. Vote on the a priori. They're conceding constitutive rules are the only way to evaluate the round. Weighing out of the 1AC and a reason to vote affirmative, they have no offense on substance, and the shell has no voters. Good job. Thanks for letting me use this thing. Yep.
One over here, if you want to just come over here. Uh,
negative eight plus negative eight about half. So I spent like literally a, a lot of time, and even randomly message people just out of curiosity to figure out paradigmatically what happens in a world where someone does not contest paradigm issues and the two R does not feel the need to extend them, and then two and R two A R points out that those are not extended, how to deal with them. I'm inclined to. I don't think there's a right answer to this. Um, it's not like it's unreasonable to expect the negative to extend to paradigm issues, but it's also not unreasonable to expect that they shouldn't have to in a world in which they weren't contested. So for the purpose of this decision, I bracketed that question aside and tried to make a decision independent of that. I think the 2NR both overcovers certain areas and then undercovers others. And I think the constitutivism stuff ends up being a problem in this debate because I think the 2NR spins too heavily towards just like education is good um, and less time interacting that sort of education is constitutive comparing it via the truth testing role of the ballot or the evidence ethics stuff. It's certainly there, it's present at least in its tagline form, which is to say that evidence ethics are constitutive. But the next level warranting, like the reason for why it's constitutive and then explain for why that is correct seems less than the 2AR's impact calculus on this, which is that in the end, the only thing that matters is truth testing, that the judge could theoretically just not care about literally anything else in this debate, regardless of whether or not it was fair, whether or not evidence, of, like there were proper evidence ethics or something like that. We can disregard all of that. But the only thing the judge really does need to care about is the truth or falsity of the resolution. Now that seems false to me, at least minimally because the judge obviously does not really care about the truth or falsity of the resolution. And that should, I think, be pointed out to at least head back against this. But I, it, it also seems false, at least on the level that I would imagine that evidence ethics are intrinsic to debate, at least constitutive, constitutive to debate, given that almost every rule book does specify the importance of evidence ethics, given that as an academic activity, evidence ethics must be intrinsic to it. Uh, but none of this stuff is like the stuff that I'm finding in the 2 r that expli explicitly is doing the comparison between the value of evidence ethics as a sort of constitutive feature of debate versus truth testing. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up thinking that a 2 r that either spun more towards just the evidence ethics offense and explain that as constitutive, or just go for education is good, independent of whether or not it's constitutive, and just answer the constitutivism stuff. I think the standards level debate is a slam dunk for the 2NR. Like, I don't have any doubt in my mind that this 2NR is super easy for you to win the offense from the standards. I think the only thing this 2NR needed to do uh, in this debate was really just pivot on the level of what the implication of theory was and how it interacted with the absolute tricks of the world of the ballot first, or the constitutivism stuff. Um, and I just think that the 2NR is winning, like, the truth claim of evidence ethics are important and they violate evidence ethics and that you do increase proper engagement. It's just less than clear why it results in a neg ballot in this debate relative to what the role of the ballot is. Um, between those two choices, like just the evidence ethics or just education good, which one do you think would be like more efficient? I thought the two answer to evidence ethics, or the one error, sorry, the one answer to evidence ethics was terrible, so I probably would have spun towards that. The one error evidence ethics answer was like, why don't you just prep more, as long as it's not responsive, right? Okay. So I would have spun towards that. And just been, and impacted out evidence ethics both as constitutive and then impacted out relative to rule of the ballot. But also just be like, look, I also just think it's absurd that I need to win, like that. Uh, it just like impact out evidence ethics is an intrinsic good, independent of their offense. Like if you if you're just like evidence ethics are key, like independent of truth or falsity, or like independent of you know like the sort of quote constitutive nature of debate. Um, and just like there's a, there's just some good to evidence ethics and impact that out. Like I think this is like you spent two minutes on that, like that game over, like you vote neg automatic. I don't know what okay. the, I don't know what the recovery is to that. But I just think that um, even though you're correct on a lot of spaces, I I, I went through like every line that I flowed from the two and I tried to draw out that sort of, the sort of deeper words to do the comparison. I think really only the two air is doing the comparison, okay. um, which is unfortunate because you're probably on the side of truth at least in the context of evidence ethics being important. Um, but there's there are just a few tech concessions. I um, um, the other random thing for the neg was um, the uh, I forget what it was. Oh, um. The, the only part where there was like substantial contestation on the standards level is like the critical thinking versus like stealing hard stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so presume you decide to go this route and take, the, and take, this, and take this avenue to, towards the ballot. Um, I think you're correct that you've identified an impact turn to their argument, which is that leveling the playing field for small schools is good. 
um, and that stealing cards is good for them. But I think you need a little bit more impact defense to their argument, which is like, but what about the schools that just take all the prep and they get, and like that's bad too, right? Because like they're just two competing impacts and they need to know how to figure out which one is more important. So I remember thinking in the two and hour when this was happening, like you're correct that you've identified the impact term, but you also need defense to get back with that. So okay. Um, in the context of the app, uh, 1AR, however you want to restructure it, is up to you. Uh, big thing in the terms of the 2AR, I think is it's a little bit over repetitive on the constitutivism stuff. Like, I think you just need to get into like evidence ethics is not constitutive to debate. Um, like, you can, like, that seems like a strong reason why your coach would reprimand you. It seems like a strong reason why your school district would kick you out, but it's not a reason why the coach, or sorry, why the judge would vote in this debate. Like, do that, like, just basic comparison, like, take it to the next level. The other thing is, it's like, when the negative is constitutive and you're just spotting them it's constitutive to some degree, like, I don't think um, it's, cons like, um, I forget how to phrase this, I'm so tired. Uh, I've not eaten breakfast yet. Um, but like, oh, I'm sorry, like it's unclear the internal link between open source and evidence ethics. Because like, it's true that evidence ethics itself might be constitutive, i.e. if you read a miscut card, that would be bad. But it's unclear why any potential violation of evidence ethics results in that being a constitutive feature of debate. Like, the, it does not seem like a constitutive feature of debate is for the judge to actively police every all possible speech shots that could be read in the debate room. And I think that's because we've recognized that the only thing that's constitutive, if evidence ethics were constitutive, the judge has to vote down people that actually miscut a card in the debate round. Not that like in your back box somewhere there's a miscut card. And so like maybe like not spotting them so closely that that internal link and playing defense at that level as opposed to just being like, why not just prep more? It's like that's not yeah. responsive, right? Um, so like you make that I think the correct strategic spin towards like constitutivism first because it was like the extension number five. Um, reason to prefer the role of the ballot, but um, but don't give them so much leeway on mm -hmm. their positions and stuff. Um, final thing is like pres presume I did in entertain the question of whether or not the NED needed to extend drop the debater of voters or something like that. Given that this is mostly a judge paradigm issue, you should I think grandstand on it enough so that the judge cannot just intervene against it. Because for because like in this debate, I'm I think I slightly side more with the negative that they did not need to extend it even it wasn't contested. Um, but I think you need to give me reason to think otherwise, which is just like debate 101. If you do not, if you do not extend an impact to your dissent to an R, even if it wasn't contested, you don't get the impact of the dissent. Same here or something like that. And you need something to like make me think that you're correct, because otherwise it's mostly just like does the judge buy on this argument or not, and you don't want to be in that position. Like maybe it's a fatal mistake for some judges because they, they do expect the neg to mechanistically extend like all parts of the shell, but like for example, I as a judge don't think the app like ever needs to extend plan text, so like okay. I'm like less inclined to think that like formalistic extensions are required. Um, so yeah, yeah, just like don't leave that that space up to the judge, I think. Okay, so that was a lot. Uh, are there any questions about anything? Mm, I think that covers it. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good round.